guys, this is Kelly at the Wichita Falls Public Library here for Teen Steam. Today we will be learning about Morse code and we'll have a little activity to go along with it. Morse code is an alphabet or code used in telecommunication to encode characters in a sequence of dots and dashes or dits and dolls. It is named after the inventor of the telegraph, Samuel Morse. You were also able to use Morse code using light or sound to send in a combination of long or short signals to send a Morse code message. It was the fastest way to communicate back then and is still used today in the military and other similar fields. There are actually two Morse codes. One is the American Morse code, which was traditionally used for the railroads and railroad transportation. It is not widely used outside of that purpose and is not really used that much today. The other one is the International Morse Code, which is the one that is most commonly used and is still used today. For this activity, we will be making Morse Code bracelets. You will need two different colors of beads, a paper clip or any kind of clip that you have at home, a piece of paper to write down your word if you need it, and a cord for your bracelet. You will just need to choose one word for this activity. We have the paper so that it's easier to keep track of your word and the dots and dashes that you need for the beads. So once you've chosen your word, which I chose library, you'll just write it down on the piece of paper, and I will include these with the grab and go bags that we will have. It has the codes in here so you don't need to go looking it up on the internet if you don't need to. So you'll write down your word, the corresponding dots and dashes for each letter, and then what I did to make it easier is I counted the dashes. There were eight. I'm going to make those my black beads and there were 14 dots, I'm gonna make those my purple beads. After you've gotten this all figured out, we can start making the bracelet. The paper clip is just to make sure that the beads don't fall off on one end. You can use a different clip or a piece of tape, whatever you have at home, but we will include the paper clips in the grab and go bags, and we can get started now. on my bracelet. All you need to do is tie it off. Of course this is going to be a little bit big but I wanted to make sure there was extra room and you can either get help with this if you need to but you can roughly see what size that you need to cut it off at. And then I like mine a little bit looser so you're just going to grab your cord and knot it. If you want to make sure that it stays extra well, you can double knot it. And if you have any extra beads after you knot it, you can leave little strings hanging off here and attach the extra beads and tie it off here to add just a little bit of extra decoration. But after you have it tied off, we have the Morse code bracelets 
And if you don't like bracelets, you can also turn it into just a Morse code key ring or a keychain that you can put on your backpack or anything else that you have. I'm done putting the beads on my bracelet. Once you're done, you can have help with this if you need to, but you'll just tie it off. You can double or triple knot it to make sure it won't come undone. And if you had extra beads and you have a lot of extra cord, what you can do is add your extra beads onto the ends and tie these off. So you just have that little bit of extra decoration. But here we have it. We have our Morse code bracelets. I will have grab and go teen steam bags available on the youth side of the service desk for y'all to pick up and do at home. We will include two different colors of beads, a bracelet cord, a paper clip, and sheets talking about the American and International Morse Code to help you guys out at home. I hope you'll have fun with this activity and I'll see you guys next time.